Maintaining a safe and secure environment is a top priority for Chandler Unified School District. We care about your safety and well-being. So we asked our law enforcement partners to help us provide you information on the current laws governing digital communication, consequences for misuse, and tips for staying safe. We want to empower you with awareness of these topics to safeguard you and your future. Online communications and social media are a part of everyday life, and unlike your parents and teachers, you have never known a world that wasn't socially interconnected with digital tech. It's a world that changes fast, with new devices, new apps, and new and easy ways to share our lives becoming available almost every week. But the perks of living in our fast-paced and hyper-connected world bring with them serious hazards that you need to be aware of. Hazards that come with misuse of the technology and its capabilities. Our school district partners with three law enforcement agencies, the Chandler Police Department, the Gilbert Police Department, and the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office. They're working together to help you make informed choices so you can avoid dangerous abuse of online communications and its subsequent penalties. Let's start with making threats. Any threat towards a, a school in our city we investigate. Every one of those, we collaborate with our school administrators, we staff it within the police department, and we come up with a, uh, a game plan to mitigate that, that threat. And when we do that, that takes an incredible amount of resources, energy, and effort that is drawn from throughout the city uh, brought to that school. That has an incredible cost to the rest of the community. So there's a number of laws that we can bring to bear and charge that particular person, and we've done that. Whether or not you had any attention to carry things out or not, just giving the false impression that something bad is going to happen and the police department had to respond because of their statements is enough to get you charged with a felony crime. Whether it be on social media and not identifying themselves, we can track it. Students think that they're remaining anonymous when they're blasting this stuff out on social media to make a fake account. It's electronic communication and it can be traced. We can subpoena the information and then write a search warrant for whatever item it was that was sent out. When a student was the cause of the threat and they're prosecuted through the courts, that has long-term effects that may affect their chances for scholarships, it may affect their chances for, for jobs, having a criminal uh, record. If you see information that you consider to be a threat, report that to the school resource officer or to the administration or to some of the teachers. Parents will come and bring screenshots of what's being said and actually want to pursue stuff like threats or bullying charges against these kids because now because this person is having some statements online, their child is facing repercussions from hundreds of people. If there's any threats made by anybody, you can actually be charged with the threats. And with their harassment, um, we can get order of protection against you. Um, you can violate that order. You can be imprisoned up to a year for that, as well as additional charges for the aggravated assault if you continue to threaten that person. If you receive a request of somebody that you physically don't know, we're asking you to be smart about it and don't accept that friend request. Even if it's you look on your friend and it shows a friend of a friend, talk to that friend and find out from that friend that they physically know that person. You know, limit who is seeing your profiles. Limit to who is seeing the things that you're looking at. If you have a core group of friends that are you've restricted your profile to, you don't have to worry about somebody else that just has a... a sees you in the hallway and has a beef with you. The majority of home computers now have the cameras on them, the lenses on them, and people don't understand that that's actually running in the background, and they think, well, I don't have my camera open at that point, but we've had it where subjects are able to backdoor into your computer and hack it, and they're able to watch you live without you. They even accepted that. The smart thing to do is to cover your, 
your camera lens. We don't ever want it to be where somebody's being victimized because they're too afraid that they're gonna get in trouble. That's not what our job is. Our job is to protect you guys, and that's our point here is to make sure that we get the information out for the students and that they understand that we're here for you guys. You made a mistake. Let's go ahead and find how we can rectify it. Then we also want to try to make it to where we can protect you guys in the future.